Hi, my creatures, but please get rumptious and juicy tourists. Welcome to your love tarot reading, Abracadabra, baby. Today we are doing the classic Uber system. Well, tonight actually, because as you see, the sun is setting. It's almost set. Isn't it gorgeous here? Oh my gosh. I am so grateful to be here in Cyprus. I'm so grateful for my life. I'm so grateful for my magic and the tarot and your magic and everything. And for you, tourists. All right. So anyways. I hope wherever you are, uh, whoever you are, uh, that it's beautiful where you're at right now. And if it's not beautiful, let's make it beautiful, baby. Let's make this life worthwhile. Uh, all right, my boo, boo We're doing you versus them tonight. We're going to see what is going on between you and your person, my boo, -boo my boo, boo whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage, stray cat from the streets, mysterious stranger you meet in the night. All right, so let's see. Please show me angels of love. Don't take candy from strangers, though. Um, I mean, maybe sometimes, but don't. No, don't. All right, so let's see. Please show me angels of love. What is happening for tourists? Some of I don't know why I said about candy. It's because I love food. Do you love food? Oh, my gosh. I'm a Scorpio. We're opposite science tourists. This is why I love you so much. But, like, I feel like we're the two signs. Like, we know how to eat. Like, nobody else knows how to eat. Nobody else. I don't, like, Right? You and me, we know how to eat. All right, so, because <laughs> Scorpio is obsessive and addictive, and Taurus is all about, you know, the beauty, the abundance of the body, or Venus, you are abundant, so, like, we're, like, the night and the day, but we know how to eat. <laughs> all right, so, the, ooh, interesting, the high princess for your person. So, all right, so we assume some kind of a rift or separation in the U versus them readings. This is your April energy. Your person is like, oh my gosh, my camera is, like, all... It's been like, it's been ghostly all day. All right, so let's, uh, it is what it is, but Bill, I don't know why. I mean, I know I need to clean the lens, but I clean, I don't know. It's, it's just trying to be subscriptious and magical. I just love it. Uh, the high priest does here. So your person is feeling to me like they cannot get enough of you. They're addicted to thinking about you. Someone's thinking about you full time. This is Scorpionic energy as well. Something could have gone down in Scorpio season. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be the case, but you get a lot of that energy because I'm obsessed with you. Um, and the high priestess is someone who's just like, they see you in their dreams. They see you before they fall asleep. They cannot, you know, they can't eat. They can't sleep. They're like, ah, tourists everywhere. And I think this is also someone who's really regretting the tower at the bottom of the deck. So it is an ending. I feel like something ended here. It could have been very unpleasant as well. More Scorpio energy. So again, Scorpio season could be relevant. Or it is a Scorpio, but something ended very badly, uh, and it ended with a lot of pain, a lot of unnecessary pain, a lot of, um, it's not even heartbreak, it's like soul crushing pain for some reason. And they do see you as someone that they miss more than life itself, the Six of Cups. They miss you, they think about you all the time, you're like constantly on their mind 24-7. It's like you're, you've become a part of their soul, Taurus, even if it's a new connection, someone you only just met. If this is a soul connection, that's why you're watching this reading, because maybe you're trying to find out as well, you know, why am I still thinking about this person? It was just a douche flu, douche flu test, anyone in between. Why can't I delete them from, from the database? Because there's something about this um, that's magical, that's deep. Their soul can't forget you and your soul can't forget them. Hmm. Someone could have eating issues as well. You know, there's like some things you can't really say on YouTube. It's like so weird, but you know what I mean? Like, you know, issues with eating, like they over diet or like they eat too much or starve, like, you know, stuff like that. Someone, maybe it's your person, maybe you don't know about that or someone who grew up uh, so poor. Eating is coming up. Someone who grew up so poor they had, they didn't have enough um, money, like their parent or guardian or guardians, their mom didn't have enough money to feed them. And that really affected this person. So let's see what happened in the past to make the situation. So this person's thinking about it. Oh my gosh, did you hear that? <laughs> Um, I live in uh, Old Town uh, here in Buffalo, Cyprus, and like people like it's like 7 p.m. The party has started. Like you can tell. All right, so let's see what happened in the past to make the situation. So, <clears throat> I love this neighborhood. This is my neighborhood, but uh, yeah, it gets kind of crazy. Taurus, what the heck is wrong with this person? 
They were hiding something from you. If it was a bimbo himbo, anyone in between you met on Tinder on the Tuesday, the issue between you was the seven of swords. This person was not honest with you. Um, what about? But boo, it's going to be okay. They do love you, the three of cups. Hmm. Listen, take it with a grain of salt. I, you know, I'm only a random bimbo on the internet, all right? Uh, so, you know, any reader is only a random bimbo on the internet. If you're watching a collective readings, collective energies, so you know your story best. Don't assume weirdness unless you got the receipts. However, I do see this person could have lied. Actually, they could have lied to you about how free, yeah, the devil. They lied about how free they are. This is someone who forgot to tell you that they're married and you found out. This is someone who, you know, the tower came down. I see that. You know, there's a break. There was a sudden break in this relationship. They forgot to tell you that they have, you know, maybe there's someone who uh, isn't like, they came to where you live, like they relocated to your um, location, <laughs> relocated to your location, you know, your town, city or whatever, right? And they had come from like, a different place and they have like boyfriend girlfriend in between there or a marriage uh, but it's something that wasn't working out and as far as they were concerned it was ending but it hadn't ended fully and they actually lied about that to you and you could have found it out the world you know this is someone that's your person's energy in the past with you they came came in from the world it's also fixed sign energy we're in the four corners of the world is fixed signs uh, with uh, Aquarius and Leo so Someone, this person met you and they were like, you are my soul. Like they felt that soul, like your soul made them do all this stuff, you know? Uh, they, they couldn't let it go. They had to give in to the temptation, but they um, also did lie about being, you know, they're like, I'm already divorced, but they only just filed on a Tuesday, you know, on I'm recording this on Tuesday, you know? They just filed on Tuesday last, you know what I'm saying? They're not really divorced and they really still have someone out there who might be thinking that they're gonna be fixing a relationship. And that was a complication. King of Wands. King of Wands came up for Scorpio, I think, or Aquarius. You know, you kept waiting, waiting and waiting. Um, in this dating situation, you, you were almost like, you could have found out the truth or you were just waiting for this person to do the right thing. And you're like, something's wrong. You're like, you know, something's up. Something's wrong here. You were hoping that this person would clarify the situation, but they just couldn't because they knew that if they told you the truth, you would reject them. And uh, their uh, entire goal was to, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't know, mosquito, whatever, this is a wig. I think it's just my wig. You know where you suddenly have to scratch your back? Okay, I did, whatever. I'm weird, it is what it is. Um, but you gotta be comfortable in life twice. Life is so short, like, you know, scratch your back if you gotta, <laughs> in the middle of a video. No, it's my hair. Uh, mm -hmm. mm. It was like you were waiting and waiting for something to like, to become clarified when it comes to this person. And this person just couldn't tell you the truth because they knew that you would reject them. But their soul recognized you. And if it was an established connection, baby, it is someone who is doing stuff uh, under the radar and behind your back. Mm, it's someone who, again, there could have been distance between you, someone traveled for work, or someone was of the world. You know, maybe this person's famous, or uh, they have a lot of clout, and they would leave you Someone here left you. If they're not famous, they don't have a lot of clout. I feel like they like to travel, even short trips. Like, you know, they were always like, they were never in the house kind of thing. And you were always waiting with this torch here. You know, uh, you were bearing the torch for them, waiting. Um, burning the midnight oil, waiting for this person to come home. They would often uh, not do that. And I think, Taurus, I'm sorry to say, if it was an established connection and if you have the receipts, I think this person was cheating. And they were cheating. Why were they cheating? They were doing things they shouldn't be doing. Some of wants to make themselves feel better. Because they had the toys, they had the scrumptiousnesses, uh, the highest treasure of them all, and they just wanted to make themselves feel better. They were like, oh, toys, do you think you're all that? I'll show you. Because you got standards. And they know it. And they didn't like it. Taurus, it's a douche flute, but they love you. It's a douche flute from a, it's a past life douche flute. Past flute. Uh, through your final clothes, they want to work it out. They want to work it out. This person definitely is coming in to work it out, but it won't be, <clears throat> it won't be anytime soon. I think the earliest it's going to be June. You got the Ten of Swords uh, in the immediate future. This person still needs to go through some kind of a transformation. You got the Six of Wands. Uh, 
in the long term, they're gonna try and fight, like they're gonna try and fight for you. They're gonna try and win you over. If it is a new energy and they lied about being single, they're gonna try and end tying up loose ends. This person's tying up loose ends, and that person, in the, if it was an established connection, they're coming in with the truth. But they need time and they need healing, and so do you. Uh, let's see what else is coming in. Between June and October 2024, this person is coming back. Or, you know, if you're still talking to them, you know, you're on speaking terms, this person's making a move to try and really fix the situation that they created. So let's see. Queen of Wands, baby. Ooh, you got another soulmate coming in. Leo season, baby. Leo season. July, August. Watch out because another person is coming in. See, that's a soulmate for you. You came up as the king of wands. This person is coming up as the queen. King, queen, anyone in between is always gender is arbitrary. But someone is coming up as, as an alternative soulmate to the situation. Someone who can really, really love you and meet you where you're at. And again, I can't remember now. I think it's Scorpio or Aquarius who got a very similar energy. A torchbearer meeting another torchbearer, you know, some, an enlightened boo-boo like you meeting another enlightened boo-boo. While the douche flute is going through their transformation and, you know, figuring it out, somebody else is coming in to get you. But this is about being seen as well. So torches, the light, be seen, put yourself out there, whatever it takes. I know, I know, I know, but it is what it is. Hinge, bumble, you know, all, you know, all the hells, <laughs> all the circles of hell. Um, you never know. And also, just go out there into into the world. Go out there into the sun. If you're in, in the northern hemisphere, it is springtime, summertime. Be seen. Because someone wants to see you. They want to, you know, someone's, someone's about to meet you, but you need to, you need to be, allow, allow yourself to be seen. It's even about going out and to places where there's a lot of lights. So lights are important, or torches, bonfires. I don't know. It, there's that symbolism out there. Uh, uh, charity events as well. Uh, all right, Babu, this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Taurus, and always remember you deserve the cream of the cream. You belong to the goddess of love, Aphrodite, Venus herself. So, F all the douche flutes. Anyway, you're scrumptious and gorgeous. We can just vibe together and, you know, eat gorgeous food. Uh, I love you, my baby. <laughs> if you are interested in the personal reading, all the info is down below. Stay scrumptious, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized. And may the angels protect you. And I was going to say, actually, okay, before, whatever, it's not even 12 minutes. This video is so long. But let me just say, may the angels protect you. And don't forget who you are. I feel called to say that to you today, Taurus. Do not forget who you are. All right, let's make some dinner and eat some scrim. Let me know in the comments. Are you one of those Tauruses who love eating? Because I'm a skipper who loves food. All right.